India is readying for a toy revolution. For some time, India has been a hub of substandard and harmful toys exported from countries like China. However, the central government has realized that the economic and political interests embedded in those innocent toys were not so naive. The reality is, for ages, toys have been China's ploy to beat India. The Indian toy market is worth $1.5 billion, which constitutes only 0.5% of the global market share. Although the market grows 10-15% to every year, the Chinese presence is alarmingly high. China and Taiwan hold 90% of the domestic toy and allied markets. The Chinese share alone is 75%. For example, if a toy maker in India decides to make a Barbie doll, everything from the doll's hair to accessories should come from China. A toy shopkeeper in Mumbai reveals in his shop he is the only Indian. It is because electronic components are available at low prices in China so that the Chinese toy manufacturers can sell them cheaply here. In reality, there is not even a single electronic toy manufacturer in India. When you see a remote-controlled toy, remember that it is not made in India. The toy market in the country is largely unorganized, although the MSME sector has 4,000 toy industry units. The toy industry in India is expected to reach 2 to $3 billion by 2024. Now, India has adopted a phased action plan to escape from the clutches of China. Well-planned moves for this objective have started early last year. One among them was raising the import duty to 60% to discourage toy dumping. Later, the Bureau of Indian Standards announced new standards for imports to prevent low-quality toys from entering the market. Another setback for China. The quality of Chinese products is notorious. In 2007, Metal, the world's largest toy company, withdrew 4,36,000 Chinese-made die-cast toy cars as they were covered with toxic lead paint. In the backdrop of geopolitical conflicts in 2020, the upliftment of the local toy industry became part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Atmanirbhar Bharat and Vocal for Local campaigns. Today, India aims to become a global hub of the toy industry. The India Toy Fair 2021, which occurred from February 27th to March 2nd, was a continuation of these efforts. The government is trying to energize the sector by creating sustainable market links for traditional toy manufacturers and increasing the availability of local toys in the market. The industry can be nurtured by building a better vendor ecosystem. The country has taken a big step towards sustainable development by organizing the toy fair. It may encourage more startups to enter the toy manufacturing sector.